So we did about how to check whether particular limits or no. Much on closer, uh, in closer situations, we have how to check the continuity of a particular function. So as I told, suppose a particular function you have is say x minus 1 when x is um, greater than 0 but less than 5 and if it is 2x plus 1 whenever x is greater than 5. So you want to check the continuity of this particular function when say x is equal to phi is the function continuous or no so in that case you will find so you will consider take the left hand limit left hand limit will be limit as f of f of x as x tend towards phi from phi minus that is a negative that means you are considering values you will consider the limit of the function for values less than phi any value less than phi so you are going to consider this which is going to be 5 minus 1 which is 4. So the left hand limit is 4. Now let us consider the right hand limit. Right hand limit will be limit of f of x as you approach 5 from the positive side. That means you approach towards 5 even a small value more than 5 it should come close to 5. So in that case, whenever x is greater than 5, you will consider this. So it's going to be 2 into 5 plus 1, that is 11. So that means the left hand limit is 4 and the right hand limit is 11 and they are nowhere near equal. They are not at all equal. So left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit. So we say that the function is discontinuous at x is equal to 5. So the graph could be somewhat like this. any graph like this when when x is 5 there is a break over here and then the graph proceeds further. So that means somewhere over here there is no logical or determinate value of f of x when x is equal to 5. So this is how we check the continuity. So the function has to be extremely well defined for the various ranges of x and hence accordingly we check whether it is continuous or no. So let's take up a lot of examples based on this. 